Meditation does not consist in making long reflections and searching for beautiful thoughts. Prayer is union with God and consists in giving oneself to God. Prayer is the only means to know and accomplish the divine will. Vocal prayer is worth nothing if it is not accompanied by acts for the best prayer is to modify one's will. How many times has Jesus knocked at the door of our hearts and we have kept it closed, too busy with our preoccupations, with our own ideas for self-satisfaction. To pray is to detach ourselves from creatures, from our preoccupation with our own selves to please God in everything. True devotion consists of a firm and determined will to do everything that is more pleasing to God. A person who is humble speaks little of self does so not even to despise self. Observe silence without which interiority cannot exist. When you are silent, God speaks and his conversation is full of sweetness. I love religious who pass unnoticed and do good without even being aware of it. All the greater will be their reward. Be silent, recollected, united with Jesus and with Mary, a friend of sacrifice. Faith is the principle and root of all virtues. Without it, no other virtue can grow or develop, as it will lack support and vitality. Virtue does not consist in some isolated acts. It is sustained application in the fulfillment of all our duties. We cannot pray as we want, but as God wants. The Lord only asks for our good will and our response to His grace. Good will consists in let God act in us without any resistance from us. Sacrifice and devotedness have their source only in love. Prayer is the key which opens to us the hearts of God and all the treasures of His grace. A single prayer of an obedient soul is better than a thousand prayers of soul who does her own will. Prayer and mortification are the two wings with which we fly towards God. St. Joseph is the model for religious, especially for adorers. Like him, you go from Mary to Jesus and from Jesus to Mary. Imitate his love and devotedness, for he prayed, he worked, he suffered with Mary for Jesus. Saint Joseph is to be imitated for his greater virtues, humility, abnegation, love for the hidden life and silence. In the Garden of Olives, Jesus finds no one to console him, yet he perseveres in prayer. You should also persevere in your prayer, 
in spite of difficulties and dryness. Be silent, devoted and prayerful and all will go well. The closer you are to God, the more courage and strength you will have to fulfill your obligations as religious. The greatest saints are those who loved the Blessed Virgin Mary the most and they were more saintly in the measure of their love for her. Saint Joseph led a life of deep prayer and interiority to be attentive to the inspiration from God to know them and to respond to them with ardor. God was delighted with Mary's humility. It is this humility which made God descend from heaven. Prayer attracts grace because it is an act of humility and awareness of one's own weaknesses. If in your religious life you have difficult moments when you feel that you have no more energy, have recourse to prayer. She who prays does much for her institute even if she had no apostolic work, but the one who doesn't pray does nothing at all. Solitude and silence in a convent help recollection and prayer. You obtain peace strength and joy only if you are persons of prayer. Saint Joseph, first adorer of Jesus after Mary, is the model you should imitate as adorers of Jesus in the Eucharist.